Aren't you going to get a coffee? Actually, I won't be staying long. What do you mean you won't be staying long? I have something serious to tell you. Uh, I'm not trying to blindside you or anything. I just want to be honest with you. Okay. Um, well, I think this relationship has run its course. What? I just think it would be best if... You're breaking up with me? Yes. Why? Sarah, please, let's not do this. No, I want to know why. I've been good to you. I've always stood by your side through the good times and the bad. I, I never did anything to you. You're right. You did nothing wrong. It's not you, it's me. Uh, don't give me that line. Sarah, please keep your voice down. I will down. not keep my voice down. Sorry. Keep my voice down. Sarah, this conversation is just too painful for me to be having right now. Maybe I should just go. No! You're not leaving without giving me an explanation. Sarah... I've given you eight months of my time, Nate. You can't just do this. Well, I've given you eight months of my time too, you know? I helped you decorate your apartment. Before me it was a mess, now it looks presentable. I just don't see what the point of throw pillows is if you're just gonna throw them off the bed. I did your taxes for you, Nate. You offered! Because you listed your Kickstarter campaign to cook the world's largest plate of spaghetti as a charitable contribution. I wasn't going to eat the whole thing myself, I was gonna share. That's charity, isn't it? I stood by your side when you spent the entire night crying because you accidentally ran over a squirrel. I know. And that was traumatic. Do you even love me? Sarah, stop. Is there somebody else? There is! You piece of I'm sorry. Who is it? I want to know who. Not that skanky secretary of yours, right? Roxy? That's a stripper name, Nate. Not a secretary name. I never did like the way she answered the phone. Hi, this is Roxy. How may I help you? Like she was scheming or something. No, oh, it's not Roxy. Then who is it, Nate? If you tell me, then that's it. It's over. We can shake hands and you can leave and we'll never have to speak to each other again. Really? Really. Um, okay. Well, like I said before, it's not you. It's me. Just tell me already. It's not you. It's me. What are you talking about? I'm leaving you for me. Again! What are you talking about? I've, I've been having a hard time recently. I've been stressed. Relationships are hard. And I'm not saying that you make the relationships yeah, hard. I just won't be able to fully understand you or how to be the best boyfriend I can be. And you won't be able to fully understand me. And that got me thinking. No one else will be able to fully understand me except for one person. Me. You're leaving me to pursue a relationship with yourself? Yes. Are you kidding me? Jesus, be a man! If you're going to break up with me, don't come up with some stupid excuse for why you're doing it. Show me a little more respect. I think I at least deserve that. I'm telling you this because I respect you. And to be honest, we haven't made this official. And that's why I'm telling you. Because I trust you. I can't believe this. My boyfriend is talking about leaving me so he can be with himself. <laughs> okay, this is fine. This is a normal thing that happens to people. I'm fine. Everything is fine. I know it sounds strange. This is very strange, Nate. If it makes it any better, I never cheated on you. You never cheated on me with yourself? We've been waiting. You've been waiting for what? Um, well, I don't think this is an appropriate conversation to be having with an ex-girlfriend. Sex? You've been waiting to have sex with yourself? This is weird to talk about with you. 
No, oh no, Nate, you don't get to be uncomfortable in this conversation. You don't have that right. You're talking about leaving me so you can literally screw yourself. Well, it's not just about the sex. It's a deep spiritual connection that I have with myself that we just don't seem to have. I'm not done talking about the sex, Nate. So you're saying you're attracted to yourself? Yeah. You're sexually attracted to yourself? Yeah, I guess I am. I don't know, I've got some good features. Oh, God. What? See, this is something I would never do to myself. What? But judge me. You find something wrong with everything I do. Whenever I'm with myself, I'm fine and I'm comfortable being me. I'm happy. Are you attracted to me anymore? I'm just trying to be completely transparent with you. I'm not saying this to be rude or to hurt you, but recently, whenever we've been getting intimate, I haven't been thinking about you anymore. I think of myself. My eyes, the touch of my lips, the feel of my hands on my body, my curves. I can't listen to this anymore. This is insane. You just don't understand what it's like. I feel trapped in this relationship. I want to go to the movies and have the freedom to be able to hold my hand without feeling guilty. I want to be able to walk up to the mirror and look at myself and know that the person staring back at me will always be there for me. The glue that holds me together. My pillar of support, my soulmate. I want to know that the person I'm going to be with forever is my best friend. I want to be Facebook official. If it makes a difference, I do still love you. I still love you too. I just hate that I'm losing you to someone that I can't compete against. You. I just love you both so much, but I think I love myself a little more and I don't want to string you along. I'm sorry, Sarah. You take care. Maybe you'll find someone who loves you as much as I love me. No, wait. I don't accept this. We can't just throw away all of the laughter, love, and joy we shared because of this little obstacle. It's too valuable to me, Nate. I think I have a better idea. Huh? You said you still love me. I do. But you love yourself more. Where are you going with this? I just want you to know I'm fine with it if you are. What? You love us both. I can learn to be okay with it if you can. I don't know. I'd have to check with myself. I've only ever practiced monogamy before. Go ahead, check with yourself. I've come to a decision. Yes? I'm willing to try and make this work. I think I've realized something too. What? I think I love myself too. More than you. I think everyone should love themselves more. Well, let's have a foursome then.